Hello and welcome to Factory Town. The town builder where you can build a big factory town. It's kind of like a, a town survival building game meets uh, something like Factorio, I think. So let's have a look. We have to collect wood. Select a worker and then right click on the tree to work it. Okay, we need 15 wood. Let's get all these guys to start getting us some wood. Got three, four dudes at the moment. We did it! Hooray! Next, we have to build a house. Okay. So open the build menu. And then we click buildings. And then we click house. And we put it down. Now where should we put our first house? Okay, we can afford it now, so let's um let's put the first house down here. On this flat bit of ground next to this wheat. It's a house level one. No one lives there. We did it. Next, create workers. Select the build menu. Select workers. Become workers. 10 gold. And then we place it near the house. There we go. Couple of new workers. Supplies house. We need supplies. Click on a worker and we can select the green. And then drag and drop on the house to select the target. So this guy should be supplying the house with grain. Once it's delivered, a coin is earned. Hooray! Okay, we send both these guys off to collect, collect coins. There we go. Build a path. Select the build menu. Okay. Select paths. Select footpath. And draw the paths on the worker route. So it looks like these guys are going this way. So we'll just give them a couple of little paths. Why not? Build a lumber mill. Okay, I need five stone. So let's um, let's get one of these guys that's getting wood, and we'll put him on stone instead. Okay, so we need a lumber mill. So let's click on uh, lumber mill. It needs a person. Yellow coins, five stone, and twenty wood. So we kind of need to have another person, right? So let's build another person. We we'll need another house. Okay, we'll build another house. That's fine. Okay, we've got a lovely street of houses here now, and uh, we have got we've got spare population, so we should be able to build a lumber mill now. There we go. Um, let's rotate it to like this way, maybe, and we've unlocked all this new stuff. Hooray! A green mill, a workshop, a chute, a scaffold ramp. Ooh, it's getting it's getting exciting now. Okay, next we have to assign a planks recipe. So we go to lumber mill, and we assign a recipe which is planks. Now we just need to supply the lumber mill, so we have to get dudes to, to uh, work it. Get trees for the lumber mill, so these two dudes will do that. So we're getting planks now, we've got two planks. Good. Now we need to upgrade a house. Okay, we can do that. Um, select the house, select upgrade. Boom. Level two house, hooray. Okay, next we need to upgrade the base. Okay, so that needs uh, 10 planks. To get the worker delivered planks to the base, we have to drag it and drop it onto the base. There we go. So now he should be taking base, the base planks. So this will give us planks in the supply. Now we need got, we've got output of 10 planks and an input of, what, 16 logs? So what are you doing? So this, are you taking planks there? And you're taking logs to the lumber mill. Okay. Cool, that sounds good. We're making lots of planks now. We need to upgrade the base. There we go, we can do it. Upgrade. Hooray, house max increased by four. And we've unlocked the food market. Nice. Okay, now we want to build the food market. Simple enough, let's see what it costs. 20 gold and 10 planks. So we need to get a few more planks. We have enough planks to build the food market. So this is a big old food market. It's gonna be it's gonna cover all these places here. So let's put it down here. Markets can be loaded with items and nearby houses will automatically buy from them. It's much more efficient and convenient than delivering goods to the individual houses. That sounds more like it. it looks like everyone's gonna put things in the in the market and it will get delivered automatically to where it's needed. Fantastic. Much easier. Okay, next, build a green mill. Okay. Why can't I afford it? Oh, I need dudes. I need more houses. Okay, we can afford to make more houses over here. 
make another street. We'll put it right in the center here, next to the market. That makes sense, have the food place next to the market. Okay, now we have to assign a recipe to it. We want to sell flour, so we want to make flour. There we go, which costs us three grain and a production time of four seconds. So we probably want to have some more dudes getting us uh, grain here. Right, what's next? We still want to make the flour. Bring the flour to the food market to sell it. Okay, so we want to have a guy that is taking flour to the food market. Like that. Build a workshop. Okay, let's build a workshop. Oh, I'm, I'm full on peeps. I need another house. Let's add another house. That's all my houses for now. I've only got eight houses available. Workshop. We'll put that here. Wow! Lots of unlocks there. Fantastic. What does it need? Recipe. Oh, there's lots of different things. Maybe we should wait until we want to know what we need. Uh, we need to build a barn. That's fine. We'll build a barn. It provides shared storage that players can use when placing buildings and workers. We'll put it next to the workshop. Create a wagon. Wagons can move four items at a time, but they cannot harvest items. They must also be much faster on stone roads. Okay, so we want to make a wagon. Um, we can do that. We need four wood wheels. So this thing needs to make wood wheels. Okay, so we're making wood wheels. And this guy's taking them to the barn. And all you guys are getting food are all taking it to the food market, right? Yeah, looks like it. A lot of people getting food. I'm not sure, like, where it shows how much food we need, but because we're getting so much gold, I feel like maybe we got too many guys getting food. Let's reassign some of our food dudes. You, over here. And you. You're done. Over here. Good, good lads. We've got a couple of fresh, fresh-faced little little lads ready to. Uh, do their job. Okay. Ah, we can. I think we can probably build a wagon now. We've got eight wheels, so let's see what if we can build a wagon. There we go. We can build a wagon. We just put it down there. Oh, we need another population. We're full on houses. Can we delete a worker? Yes, we can. Good. Uh, maybe upgrading houses as well is a way to go. Upgrade another house. No, it doesn't give us more population, does it? Oh, it does. Perfect. Okay, cool. Plenty of population. Right, let's make a, a couple of wagons, I guess. And now these can move things between places, but that is it. So actually, do I have a lot of something I need to move? A chute. Chutes are a handy way to transport goods long distances. Okay, cool. That sounds like a lot of fun. Chutes can be used to roll certain resources directly into or out of buildings. It can greatly speed up production, because workers won't have the travels so far. Man, I feel like I, 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 I should have not built this town as tall as what I've done it, but there's iron ore over here. So, um, maybe we can use it to get that. Uh, left click and drag to draw a chute path to a lumber mill or grain mill. All right, let's try that. So, our lumber mill is this. And, uh, and we have an input here. So let's just, uh, Put it like that. So now guys can just drop stuff onto the chute. Is that blocked off this whole area though? He's just dropping logs straight into the into lumber mill, this dude. You're not using the chutes that I built for you? Workers can be directed to deposit items into chutes. Natural resources like grain, wood and stone, all compatible with chutes. Okay. So why aren't you using them? Do I have to tell them to do it? Alright, worker dude. Oh yeah, there we go. Trees into the chute. I just didn't. I just needed to redirect them. There we go. Ah, straight in. Okay. Sweet. Okay, so the chutes are going in. I think the logs are going in. Slowly into the chute there. Oh yeah, that's more like it. Okay, so they. I mean, it's not so good because they don't actually have to go very far. But the grain mill, for instance, is is pretty far away from uh, the grain. So maybe we can make a chute that goes all the way over here. Quite a cramped town, this though, isn't it? This isn't making planks fast enough, is it? 
Or is, there, is it full? It's full of planks. We need more people moving planks. Okay, so we'll get a wagon. Here we go. And we'll get you to move planks to the workshop. Or to the barn. Yeah? Here we go. Boom, planks. Okay. Now the logs are being used. Fantastic. Okay, we're making more planks now. The workshop's making wheels. We've got 15 wheels. Okay, cool. We've got the uh, in the supply chute. Uh, we, we're doing it. We're, we're sending guys to the, the chutes. Now we need a stonemason hut. Okay, this is going to get interesting now. Um, so we want to get a stonemason's hut. Do we want to have it down here by the stone? Oh, this is a good spot for it. Cool. Upgrade a base again. Oh, I can do that. Easy. We need 20 stone bricks. So this thing has to make stone bricks. Boom. We're making stone bricks. We'll put two workers on that. We have to supply it with stone. So let's get a wagon to take stone to the stonemasons. Can we make a better road? No, that's the best we can get. Okay, so we're sending stone to the stonemason, which is making bricks. Now we want to make another another cart, probably, don't we? So we want a, a wagon. Oh, we can't afford it. Why not? What does it cost? Ten planks. Where's all our planks gone? Oof. Barn is four. We want another wagon, really, don't we? That moves, moves planks. What's this one done? It's just sitting there. Why? Is it not? Oh, it doesn't take planks. Okay, that's interesting. So they want us to take planks to the workshop instead? Sure. I'm just making lots of wheels now, though. No one else taking planks anywhere? Okay. That's why, then. That's why we have no planks. Uh, let's get a dude to take planks to the base. Right, let's see if we can make another wagon now. Yes, we can. We need another person. We need to upgrade a house. This one. We'll upgrade them all. Why not? All right, let's get a wagon. And you wagon, I'm going to take planks to the base. There we go. We might need another dude getting logs for this chute to feed the uh, lumber mill more. Yeah, it needs more wood. Okay, that's good. We're speeding up now. We are we aren't getting stone to this place. It has um. Has got ten stone bricks now. We need, probably need to make another wagon that takes the stone bricks and puts them in the barn. So we're going to need another worker, which means one more plank. I have enough. All right, wagon. You take stone bricks and put them in the barn. It's a long way to go, I know. Oh, why are you not taking the, the same? Do we need to have like double double roads? Maybe we do. It makes sense. Two lanes and all that. Yeah, there we go. They can cross each other now. That's good. Let's do that everywhere. All right, so we should be getting bricks soon. Oh wait, this thing doesn't take bricks. What do you even take? Do we need another barn? This thing has sugar, wood wheels, wood and more wood. Okay. Do we need another barn? Let's make another barn. Okay, so you want to take stone bricks to this barn? There we go. Okay. We now have stone bricks. Okay, so we probably need to logistically figure out which barns are going to be taking which items. Um, and probably we want to be taking everything to the barns and then distributing it after that just to make things a little bit easier to figure out but maybe we can work that out once we've got more space and I did not expect some of these things and I am having to work with what I built originally if I started again I would make things very different but I think that's the whole point in this kind of game is it builds organically and I didn't start with a huge amount of space as you can see right well we want to upgrade the barn so we're gonna need 20 stone bricks. So this thing is making making lots. Is it making more than it produces? I'm not really sure. Maybe we need another wagon. I mean, wagons are pretty cool. Let's go with it. 
you can also take bricks to the barn. Cool. I just I just saw you drive over nothingness, so I'm gonna put extra road down there. I think this is gonna be our, our kind of town centre, really, rather than this. I'm not really sure what the base is used for at this point. It has its own big inventory, I guess. It's kind of like just like a barn at this point, really. Oh. Okay, we can upgrade the base to tier three. Boom. House max increased by four. We've got a school and a general store. Okay. Let's build a general store. Sure. So these things distribute and sell clothing, construction supplies, and other basic goods. Okay, it's 10 bricks. We need a lot more bricks coming in. Okay. So at the moment, we're taking bricks from the base with a wagon and then okay we can probably make another wagon doing that why not we're full on wheels so maybe we should make something else um we're just gonna fill up with wheels at this point let's make some cloth we need uh, wool or cotton we don't have either of those we could make um goodness there's a lot of different things to make here isn't there that's uh that's gonna be it's gonna be quite logistically hard to figure out uh, but at the moment we've got way too many wheels just way too many um, as soon as we build a, another car I guess it will help it's only four wheels though yeah there you go they're bringing wheels to here now because I just used up some from here there's like nine left in here look Oof. tricky all right let's put our general store down put it down here and this thing can do a lot of different things. What can it do? Select the economy tab. Where's that? Economy. And look, we can buy and sell things. Hmm. We want to deliver stone bricks to the general goods store or sell any other red coin producing items. So stone bricks can be sold for red coins, which are like super coins. So if we want to send stone bricks to the general store, Probably can. Take them from the barn. We'll get one of these guys to do it. The wheel man. Wheel man can take bricks to the general store. I'm getting red coins now, which is great for the houses. There we go. Right, well, that's enough uh, for today, but thank you for watching. If you like this, let me know, and maybe I'll do more. If not, then uh, just leave a like anyway. <laughs> thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.